Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to be making my Korean styled chicken wings. This dish was inspired by this week's cuisine in school. So I decided to make this recipe using similar ingredients at home. This week is actually we're in Korean and Chinese cuisine in school. So I decided to share it with you guys. And I'm also going to be sharing what I've been doing so far in my international class in tomorrow's video <laughs> so yeah let's get started to start with the chicken wings I'm just gonna do it very lightly I'm not doing much to it I'm gonna add a lot of salt not a lot but I'm gonna add salt and lots and lots of black pepper so that's my salt and go in here with a lot of pepper lots and lots and lots and lots like season it up really well because that's all that's going on there for right now um, to this I'm also going to add maybe a fourth cup or so, ooh, making a mess, of my cornstarch. And you're just going to coat your wings lightly and put them to the side. And then now we're going to work on the sauce. So that's all we're doing for this step because we're going to fry them. <laughs> and yeah, so that's it. Now I'm going to work on the sauce for the wings. I'm only giving you like a base of where you can go with this sauce. So if you prefer more of any of my ingredients that I'm going to use, you can add that. But I'm going to give you a base as far as what I'm doing and then I'm going to adjust for what fits for me. So I'm going in here without a fourth, with a fourth cup of sriracha. I'm making a lot of sauce because I have a lot of wings. Then I'm going in here with three tablespoons of finely chopped garlic. Please use fresh if that's what, you know if you can then I'm gonna use the only thing I'm gonna measure is the sesame oil because that is very strong so I'm gonna uh, measure that and I'm gonna use about a whole two teaspoons of the sesame oil then I'm gonna use a couple of two inch pieces of fresh ginger down in there three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar need that tang in the back three tablespoons of honey and the same amount of sriracha you're going to use soy sauce so about a fourth cup of soy sauce I'm not going to add any salt to my sauce but make sure you taste it at the end and that's pretty much it let me make sure I got everything yes that's pretty much it you're going to stir this up put it on the stove and let it heat through for a couple of minutes and then now we're going to fry the wings now I'm just going to start frying my wings up frying right my oil my oil is about 350 degrees and I'm going to fry maybe six to seven pieces at a time for about 10 minutes. Once they're out, I'm going to toss it in the sauce and that'll be it. I have my wings in my bowl already. I don't know if y'all could hear that. <laughs> they're super, super crispy and perfectly golden brown. Now I'm going to add a whole bunch of scallions to the chicken while it's still hot. Then I'm going to go over here with the sauce and just drizzle it. Yum, 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 yum. Yes! <laughs> drizzle the sauce all over. I'm going to save some for the rest of my wings. And I'm just going to toss it and just keep stirring it until the sauce gets all over each piece of chicken I think I need a deeper bowl for this but anyway add more scallions and some chopped um, cashews and then you're gonna toss it again then I'm gonna plate it up and that's it this is what the chicken wings look like <laughs> when I tell you these chicken wings are the best chicken wings I've ever put in my mouth like seriously but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I'm proud of these wings. They came out really, really well. They're still crunchy, even with the sauce all over them. I hope you give it a try. Let me know what you think. Comment below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Okay, bye.